this Baby, tell me what you know about this so Tell me what you know about this I'm the king of my surroundings Look, I catch baby, yes, can you count this? Little grub, little man, can Hi you guys, this? and welcome to crackchannacup.com My name's Leonie Anderson And today I'm coming to you with my very first video of 2016 Which is the Ask Leomi tag So yeah, I guess we're just gonna get into it And I haven't really read over the questions I wanted my answer to be like from the top of my head So yeah, let's see what you guys wanna know about me so one of my first questions, how was it to walk for the Victoria's Secret show? It's epic. It's exactly how you would imagine it to be because you know when you see some stuff on TV and then you actually experience it in real life and it's actually shit? Victoria's Secret was the complete opposite. The day before we were given oxygen facials, when we went there in the morning there was mad food, all the girls were amazing and you know people kept on asking me as well, oh were there any cat fights backstage? I heard that some girl got her extensions ripped out and all of this kind of stuff. Nah. What is my favourite emoji? It's going to be the black girl version of this. <laughs> because I feel like she looks like me. And my runner-up emoji has to be the black moon emoji. Because it's kind of my facial expression all the time as well. I'm just like... Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All the time. And that's kind of what I imagine the black moon emoji to be doing. My best memory of 2015. But that's kind of difficult because there's actually so many. Walking for Victoria's Secret was insane. Um, I remember walking down the runway and just thinking to myself, I can't believe I'm doing this. What am I going to do at the end of the runway? I could feel all this adrenaline rushing through me. And like, it's a feeling that I'm never going to forget. Of course, there's also working with Kanye West because, you know, I'm an avid Kanye fan. Getting my first tattoo. Mm, just mad stuff. What are the things that you are most proud of? Um, the fact that I still have hair after modelling for six years. <laughs> Song lyric that sums up my year. Um, Kanye West Runaway. Um, you know, just for the... Manel Bailey, I see you. You always ask me this question. Would I move back to London permanently? Well, as long as there's money to be made, I'm afraid I'm going to be catching flights because as much as I love being in London and I wish I could work here 24-7, the work in New York's just too good. Which models do I look up to? Again, this is easy. Um, Jordan Dunn is one of my good friends and I definitely say I look up to her because she is the definition of a supermodel. She came through, she worked her way up, she did the show, she did the campaigns and throughout all of that, she's remained humble and she's still like the nicest girl. That is why she is someone that I look up to and who has earned the title of supermodel. Aww. Favorite eyebrow shape? The normal ones. All this skin fade eyebrow that girls are doing, all this arch here, fleeky that, not into it, not my thing. Sorry if you're there holding your eyebrows like this bitch is bare rude, but I'm sorry, I don't really like all that one, one millimeter between your brows faded. Look, mad drag queen, not even being rude. Obviously, I get it, that's kind of the makeup look nowadays, but me personally, I just like, you know, just a little bit of filling in. I like Rihanna's eyebrows. There you go. Rihanna's eyebrows are like my favourite kind of eyebrows. And obviously, my own. <laughs> Who is the person I miss the most when I'm abroad? Definitely has to be my mum. Like, it's to the point where I don't even like calling her or speaking to her too much because even seeing her face or speaking to her makes me miss her so much. And especially when I see her face pop up on FaceTime and it's like from some next angle because she doesn't, you know, she don't know about the the FaceTime angle is too tough. Hers are from down here. Mad nostril. But yeah, I definitely miss my mum the most when I'm away. What does your name mean? Um, let me tell you a funny story about my name. My mom actually wanted to name me Ruby Valentine because I was born on Valentine's Day. Nah, that weren't happening. My auntie quickly jumped in with Leomi, so that's kind of how my name came about. It was literally like a snap decision just so that I wasn't named the most cheesiest name on earth. Ruby Valentine. Even though actually it's kind of a sick name now that you think about it, but that's not me. I'm definitely a Leomi. Um, so it doesn't really have a meaning as such, but... Um, Let's just say it means adventurous, spontaneous, last minute, <laughs> because that's literally how my name came about. What advice would you give to young girls who want to be a model? Don't do it, run away. No, I'm joking. Um, definitely to build a tough skin and, you know, don't take any criticism or rejection too much to heart, you know? Um, 
In fact, if you can't handle criticism and rejection, I would definitely say modeling is not for you because it happens and it happens a lot. It's actually just a part of the job. There's no way of avoiding it. Even if you're the most beautiful, there's gonna be someone who doesn't want you. No one is too nice looking for a no. Amani's question is, how did you end up with such a good friend like E? Well, basically, if you don't know, one of my best friends is E Money Mans. <laughs> And I've been friends with her since year seven, pretty much. She got moved out of my tutor because she was too naughty. So then we didn't really talk then. And then, I don't know, we just eventually became friends and now we're just, yeah. So yeah, that's my right hand right there. So that's how I became friends with E. Everybody needs a friend like her, by the way. Hmm, which language would I like to learn? I'd probably like to learn either French or Spanish, but only French because when I'm there, I know for a fact that people are saying mad rude stuff about me, but I just don't understand. And I would love to just turn around and be like, firm the motherfucking bush, yeah? I understand everything that you were saying, blah, 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 blah. But that's not really a good reason to want to learn a language. So. Mm -hmm. Firm the motherfucking bush, motherfucker biggest pet hate Ooh, i have a couple of these so let me just reel them off nail biting people with mad flaky scalps i've seen people with some really dusty looking weaves and i can see like some shit going on in there and it makes me want to be sick but people who eat bananas on public transport people who just don't mind their own business see me i'm not really bothered about what anybody else is doing i'm hearing that people are caring about my life extra hard i'm just thinking what is your problem? What's your favorite thing to do when you want to unwind and relax? <sighs> I don't think I could tell you. I think, you know, you have to be old enough to know what people do when they want to relax and they're with their bae. Don't show your parents this. Don't tell them I just said that. I like to shop. Like if you just gave me a laptop, some snacks, Netflix one in the background, preferably Bob's Burgers, and then, you know, Farfetch or something in front of me, or, you know, net porte whatever. That's me, I'm relaxed, I'm cooling. Freshly shaved legs, fresh sheets, but as long as I'm online shopping, I feel good. Ooh, have you ever thought about what you wanna do after modeling, or maybe using modeling to achieve said goal? Well, actually, that's another thing that I really hope, you know, starts formulating in the pipeline for 2016. I want to be a TV presenter. What are your thoughts on hair removal and waxing? Waxing hurts like a bitch. And um, one time I nearly like singed off my pussy with hair removal cream. So I would definitely say just laser hair removal all the way. <laughs> Did I make any New Year's resolutions? Not really, you know, um, instead of New Year's resolutions as such, I just came into this new year with a certain mentality. I'm all about working hard, getting this money, but having fun. Like I, I actually just went into New Year with a new energy as opposed to a New Year's resolution. What are the realities of being in the modeling industry versus the myths we think that we know? Well, everybody always asks me, do you get free stuff? The answer is no, I wish. Obviously some designers do gift girls, you know, bags sometimes or like scarves or perfume or whatever. Um, and sometimes it's really nice stuff, but a majority of designers aren't giving away anything. You could have been wearing a bra that you have your blood, sweat, tears, you know, firstborn's umbilical cord in and they'll be asking for that back. They want it back. Trust me, believe me, they want it back. Obviously, some models move like teeths, I've heard. They teeth shoes, bags, everything. But that's not me, sorry. I'll get caught. You see my skin complexion, they'll be coming for me. So no. What's my ethnicity? Guys, my grandparents are Jamaican. I remember one time I had some African man in my Snapchat and everyone was like, your dad's so funny. He weren't my dad, guys. And I'm actually so mad at you guys for thinking that he was my dad because he was shouting the most shit. My mum and my dad are both born in London. It's my grandparents who are from Jamaica. Um, so yeah, the African man weren't my dad. Mm, any girl tips with guys? Set your standards high. See, you see where my hands are? You can't see them. That's where your standards should be. The minute you start taking shit from a guy, the minute that's all you're gonna get. And then when you start asking for more, it's too late. They're gonna be thinking, wait a second, I managed to get you without, you know, doing all of this stuff, without taking you to eat, without doing nice things to you. So why are you asking now? Why are you trying to switch it up? So from the get-go, going high, and if they don't want it, they don't want it in it. Because I feel like um, at the beginning of when you're speaking to someone, that's when they should be showing the most effort. 
to you know impress you and if they don't want to do simple stuff for you then then it's not gonna get any better why should it get better aim high or go home basically the story behind my first kiss it was just horrible if you're watching this i'm so sorry but your mouth was just mad open on my face there's just mad spit involved it was in the cinema it was just not nice Mm -mm. So first kiss, mm -mm -mm -mm. let's not even talk about that. If I could only wear one jacket and one pair of trainers for the rest of my life, what would it be? Definitely this, because you know, it's cold out on these streets. Or this, which is like a vintage one of one denim jacket and it's literally made out of like different pairs of jeans. If I could only wear one pair of trainers, it'd definitely be these because this is my favorite silhouette in a sneaker and i feel like i don't know i feel like they'll carry me far in life you know? if i could be someone else for one day who would i be rihanna everybody knows this it looks like she even smells good it looks like if i became her and licked myself i would taste like i don't know lemon sherbet or something she looks like she lives a sick life she's got her day one friends around her she's got the most amazing wardrobe most amazing hairstyles so yeah it'd definitely be rihanna Ooh, any relationship going on black face emoji but yeah can you be my bestie love from kenya of course babes hello what does my ideal wedding look like? Like on a beach or in some kind of garden kind of thing. I'm probably wearing couture Givenchy. My nipples will probably be out or just like covered by some beads. It's gonna be a bodycon dress with a thigh high split. Probably gonna just have some like Nike sandals on or something though. My gold one or my Chanel gold and white kit. But okay, I'll at least be wearing sandals, guys. But I'm not wearing heels. Wedding ceremonies take time, you know. Do you really think I want to be thinking about how sore my feet are? while I'm wearing my couture gown and Frank Ocean is singing in the background. Frank Ocean is going to be there. There's going to be a harp playing, a violin, all of that. And by then, by my wedding day, I'm sure his second album would have dropped. I love Thai food, Indian food, obviously Caribbean food. I tried African food for the first time. Nice, but I kept it safe though. I just had like jello fries and some beef stew or something. Because all this shaky, all this elasticated looking stuff that you Africans are eating, I'm not involved. Not really looking appetizing. No thanks. What do I do to prepare myself before big shoots? Um, honestly, nothing. Because if you start changing the routine too much, then I just feel like you're gonna make yourself more nervous. I just make sure I get a lot of sleep before, minimum eight hours, and I drink a lot of water. That's it, man. And just make sure I have a good breakfast as well. Advice for girls who are just entering their 20s? Just go out and have fun stick to your friends no new friends there you go you know i always say this stick to your friends mm. is it hard being a model yeah <laughs> um everyone keeps on asking me about my skincare routine um it's on my youtube channel mm. what are my favorite snacks salt and sweet popcorn crunchy bars anything caramel i love caramel if there was a bath of caramel i would just dive into it <sighs> That's definitely my favourite. It's not even a snack, but anything with caramel, I'm eating it. How often do I work out? Barely ever. Just got a gym membership. Um, and I've been once this year. Well, guys, um, I've answered as many of your questions as I could. As many of them as I could decipher. Because some of you guys' grammatical errors were, like, insane. I'm joking. Um, no. Hope you enjoyed this video. And don't forget to check out my blog for my latest post over on crackedchinacup.com. Pause. I like her, selling Sonya off my like her.